Hello, I'm Jeff Raymond with today's Bespoke News. Following a vitriolic question time in the House of Commons last Wednesday, Bespoke News understands that Prime Minister Brown clashed with Opposition Leader Cameron in the corridors of Westminster. After more angry exchanges, Cameron struck Brown in the face with a glove. The Prime Minister accepted the challenge and a duel was arranged for a meeting at dawn tomorrow. George Osborne offered to act as second for the opposition leader, but we understand that the duel has now been called off as Mr Brown failed to find anyone to act as his second. In Britain, the government is continuing with its efforts to help bolster its failing finances by selling parcels of land to foreign visitors. The latest parcel of real estate on offer is Wales. So far, the best offer for the purchase of the Principality has come from Germany. Angela Merkel said, This acquisition would solve Germany's problem of Lebensraum for the foreseeable future. The new state would be incorporated into the German Reich and would in future be known as Der Staat von Westland in der Schwarzeburger Erde am den Border mit der Englander. That is all one word. A BBC report that Richard Dawkins had found God and called him Christ was tonight corrected by the broadcaster. A spokesman for the BBC explained that the item had been filed by a dyslexic reporter and should have read, Mr Dawkins has found a dog and called him Chris. Well, London is determined to put on an opening show for the 2012 Olympics that will outdo the recent spectaculars in Beijing and in Sydney. To ensure that the best is there, they've hired Steven Spielberg to oversee the production. Bespoke News has learnt that Spielberg aims to begin the event with a gigantic procession of 2,000 dogs dressed in the colours of their respective countries. Leading the parade will be 200 British Bulldogs dressed in kitted jackets of red, white and blue. Other canines representing their countries will include German Shepherds, French Poodles, Dutch Barge Dogs, Australian Kelpies and Chinese Shih Tzus. Following the 2012 dogs will be a bevy of scantily clad girls, all carrying pooper scoopers. Oh, last night, a Conservative candidate in London, a London pre-selection contest was asked by a member of the selection panel if he could quote any words made famous by Churchill. He rolled his eyes and said, oh yes. And now finally we have an item of news uh, from Bespoke News resident poet Omar Khayyam Jr. He writes, The frame of Sarkozy is frightfully small. It suffers a vertical lack. He's only a quarter the size of de Gaulle and half the size of Dirac. That's all for now. I'll be back tomorrow.